Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into something big that's got everyone talking. Lil Wayne has finally broken his silence after being snubbed for next year's Super Bowl halftime show in his own city, New Orleans. And trust me, he's not holding back on how much this really hurt him. So let's break it all down. Why Wayne got passed over, who's speaking up for him, and why Nicki Minaj is coming at Jay-Z hard. You definitely don't want to miss this. First things first, Lil Wayne finally opened up about how crushed he felt not being chosen to perform at the 2025 Super Bowl. In a heartfelt video posted on Instagram, Wayne admitted that this snub really hit him hard. He thanked all the fans and peers who had his back, saying they kept him strong when he was ready to fall apart. Wayne even said, I blame myself for getting my hopes up, thinking that was my spot, like somebody told me it was mine, but it hurt a lot. This was no ordinary gig for Wayne. This was the Super Bowl in New Orleans, his hometown. It was supposed to be his moment on the biggest stage in front of his people. So yeah, it cut deep. First of all, I want to say forgive me for, uh, forgive me for the delay, um, the delay on, you know, just the delay. I want to say uh, I had to, first of all, I had to get strength. I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice, every opinion, all the care, all the love and the support out there. Is your your words turn into to arms and they held me up when when I try to fall back. Um, that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about. It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt, it hurt a whole lot. Um, but y'all, y'all are fucking amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me. And I'm just trying to put me back together. But my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family. My homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me. And I'm working. So, thank you. Now, let's talk about Nicki Minaj, who went off over the situation. She didn't hold back at all. She called out Jay-Z on social media, accusing him of blocking Wayne because of personal beef. Nicki didn't mince words, saying that Jay's issues with Birdman, Drake, and even herself were the reasons Wayne wasn't chosen. She was fuming, y'all. In her rant, she even brought up how Eminem made sure 50 Cent performed at his Super Bowl halftime show last year suggesting Jay-Z didn't do the same for Wayne. And Nicki wasn't the only one heated. Birdman, Master P, and Boozy all expressed their disappointment too. Wayne's peers definitely had his back. So why wasn't Lil Wayne chosen? Well, Kendrick Lamar ended up getting the spot. And some people think there's more to this than just a simple booking decision. Cameron even hinted that Jay-Z was behind the snub, calling it payback for some past beef between him and Wayne. According to Cam, this isn't just about Wayne, it's about Drake, too. Because we all know Drake is Wayne's protege. Crazy, right? Kendrick hasn't said anything about the controversy yet, but he did drop a new song recently, and fans are speculating that some of the lyrics could be his response to all the drama. So what do y'all think? 
Was this a personal grudge or just the NFL making a decision? Either way, Lil Wayne's pain is real, and the support from his fans and peers shows how much love the rap community has for him. It'll be interesting to see if Jay-Z or Kendrick say anything, but for now, Wheezy is working through it. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Carpet Reup. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on your favorite artists. Catch you in the next one.